Before we can connect to our server program, we must connect to the same wireless network. Go to your settings icon, go to Wi-Fi, and choose the appropriate network. Here, I'm connected to Cav's network. Now that we've connected to the same network, we can connect to our server. I'm using a Windows 7 laptop with 64LT, our professional level KJ software. Open the Cavs reservation system, go to settings, and in server IP address, input the IP address of the server that you're connecting to. I happen to know that mine is 192.168.1.109. Hit done, and save. And now if we go to the songbook, we have songs. Reserving a song in Cavs RS2 for iPhone is very easy. Let's start by opening up the songbook. Let's say I want to cue this song, 98.6. I would tap on the song to bring up the reservation menu. Here I can set the customer's name to show up in the server program or in JB199 um, so we would know who's up next to sing. You can also adjust the pitch and tempo with the sliders here, like so. When you're done setting the details, hit reserve and the song will cue. Now you can uh, still cue more songs afterward like so. Just look for the song, reserve, look for a song, reserve, and you can view the queue status by going back, going to queue status, and now we can see what songs are coming down the line, as well as the customer name of who's, uh, who queued the song. Now that we've connected to our server, we can open our songbook and see that we've got songs, 1,147. We can sort this list of songs alphabetically by artist or by title. Now you've probably got more songs than me, and thumbing through them like this would be a real inconvenience. So we suggest you use our search functions, search by title or search by artist, to narrow your search quickly. Let's say I input the search term crazy. Any song with the word crazy in the title will return a hit. We can do the same with search by artist. If we search any artist's name, let's say John, any artist with the word John appearing in the name will return as a hit. There is a lot of Elton John, but there's also John and Catherine Britt, John Travolta, and so that's how you reserve and search in Caps RS for iPhone app. Now you or your customers might have certain songs you love to sing often. This is where the favorites list is very helpful. First we go to favorite list and we tap load. Don't worry, even if you haven't made a list for yourself before, we're still gonna tap load and the program will create it for you. So I'm just gonna say Joe. Uh, this list is case sensitive, so lowercase Joe is different from uppercase Joe. So I'm gonna click done and load. Customer Joe not found, create new list, okay? So now we can go back to the songbook and let's just find a few songs. Add favorite let's say Joe let's say Ain't No Sunshine add favorite Joe and let's say Against All Odds Joe okay now if we go back to the favorite list we load, 
for Joe. We can see that all the songs that we favorited are here for quick access um, next time you want to sing. You don't have to go searching through the whole list to find the ones you like. They've already been saved for you ahead of time. And from here, we can queue them as normal. And that's how you use the favorite list. And now for slightly more advanced techniques using our favorite list. Let's say we loaded our playlist for Joe again. Uh, okay, he's got a decently sized list. If we click here down on add, we can not just add one song at a time, but as many songs as we want. The blue highlight means the song's been selected, and we can tap plus. Added five songs, okay? But that's not all. If we go to add, we can also sort or search. Let's say title, anything with the word love in it. Search, and now all these songs with love, I can do the same thing. Add multiple songs. You can use this to add songs from a single artist, um, particular theme you want, nine songs added. And there we go. That's how you use all the functions of the favorite list. Another little feature of Cavs RS2 for iPhone, this little eye icon up in the right hand corner, this lets uh, anyone using a client to check notifications that you've sent out um, from the server program. This can be anything from uh, closing time, drink specials, your own little calling card, whatever you want. You can send out a, a broadcast and people can check it by touching their little eye.